Which area is that? It's called the Prairie Pothole. It's upper Midwest upper in the US, up into central Canada.
stop everybody. What are their superpowers? What are they Vision? Yeah, they have, they have excellent eyesight, right? Let's start with that. Excellent eyesight. I'm going to walk with the I can turn a 180 degree. I'm going to walk her close so you close can see. They have excellent eyesight and their eyes are quite large. 270. Often guesses. My guess is that if she could turn 360 degrees, she might be able to do it, but she would probably only do it one time. <laughs> Normally, normally they can turn about 270 degrees. Yeah, that's about three quarters, three quarters of the way around. That's still a lot, right? Anyone know what allows them to do that? How can they turn the head so far like that? Anyone know? Anyone well, have a guess? Uh, along the uh, cubital arteries. The what? Allows, her cubital arteries allowed to cross over. The cubital ar arteries cross over. Yeah. Well, there's a mechanism that allows them to turn their heads further than us, right? So we can't turn 270 degrees, can we? Maybe once. Anyone know? I'll give you a hint. Like an extra pair or something. I'll give you a hint. Because they don't, their ears are so large, they don't want bugs or debris and things to fall into their ears. So it helps kind of filter out there. Yeah. But it's quite large. It's very large. But it's a little different. It's quite adaptable in this way. You know how in people, our ears are even on each side of our head, right? When our ears are even, we say that's an attractive quality. For the owls, the more lopsided their ears are, the hotter they think they are. Yeah, because it's supposed to be lopsided, right? Yeah, one's a little bit higher than the other, and one might be even a little bit bigger than the other. What it allows them to do then, it allows them to receive sound differently. So a sound the mouse makes on the ground over here will be received by the right ear slightly differently than the left ear. Now they've got two different data points to so gauge how far that mouse might be from them, right? Yeah. Now scientists have shown us with barn owls. They put barn owls into a room, remove all the light sources from that room, and the barn owls will fly down and catch the owls and become complete darkness. Isn't that incredible?